Animation transforms static content into dynamic experiences, enriching websites with movement and engagement. In ReadyMag, you can build powerful and fast animations without any coding. In this video, we will go through the basics of animation in ReadyMag. To animate a widget in ReadyMag, simply click the animation icon in its controls. There are four primary types of animation to choose from, starting with onload, which initiates once a page is loaded in the browser. Once you've chosen an animation type, you'll find various effects to explore, such as move, opacity, rotate, and scale. On top of that, you have the flexibility to apply these effects individually or in combination with each other or even apply all four types of animation simultaneously, but we'll explore that in more detail later on. Let's say we opt for the opacity effect. This effect controls the transparency of the widget, creating smooth fade-ins or fade-outs. Delay lets you control when the animation starts, allowing you to time it perfectly for when the widget appears on the visitor's screen. Meanwhile, duration determines how long the animation lasts, ensuring those transitions are buttery smooth. You can also further customize the opacity by setting the starting and final opacity levels of the widget after the animation completes. This can be done in various ways. Manually input values, adjust the level by dragging the cursor, or by clicking the triangle to swap the starting and final values. During the process of adjusting effects, seeing the results instantly is crucial. Just click Preview Animation to watch those changes come to life in real time. Another handy feature which is available for load animations is Start in Sight. It essentially delays the animation until the widget becomes visible to the visitor, ensuring a seamless and timed presentation. Let's explore another animation type, scroll. The animation kicks in from a specific point on the page and follows the user's scrolling action. For example, if we opt for the move effect, it allows us to smoothly drag a widget to its destination after the animation concludes. Now let's explore the essence of the scroll animation, the start point parameter. This feature precisely dictates when the animation begins based on the widget's alignment with the top, center, or bottom of the screen. And for that extra touch of finesse, the offset feature enables fine-tuning of the start point based on pixel height. Here you can see the impact of different start point parameter settings. On the left, the animation starts when the object touches the bottom screen edge. In the center, it starts as the object passes through the screen center, and on the right, it starts when the object touches the top edge. For scroll animations, the speed setting determines how long each step is displayed while scrolling. A speed of 1x means 1 pixel per page duration. In our case, let's pick a speed of 0.3x to make the animation appear smoother. And most importantly, we need to define the movement using the move effect. For instance, let's specify that our element will smoothly shift left by 90 pixels after the animation concludes. This can be accomplished in four different ways, setting values using the mouse, typing in values via keyboard or using arrow keys, as well as manually moving the object. Great, let's check out what we've got. But wait, there is more. You can also control the pacing of your animation with easing functions. Linear, ease in, ease out, ease in and out. Now we'll temporarily switch to another page to demonstrate easing effects. We'll examine them using the click animation for clarity. By the way, to change the animation type on the fly, simply click on the animation name and switch to a new one. Moving on, set the required parameters and voila. In the first example, you'll see the linear effect, providing a constant speed throughout the animation. Next up, ease in and out, starting slowly, accelerating in the middle, and then decelerating for a smooth finish. You can also apply ease in, a slow start, smooth acceleration, and ease out, quick start, gentle deceleration. 
And remember, you can customize easings using a curve by dragging the key points in the desired direction. And for the move effect, don't forget the exciting Bezier toggle. With Bezier, you can make elements move in graceful curves and even spin them in loops and circles. It's as easy as clicking on the toggle in your move animation and grabbing those handles to shape your elements path. Now let's move on to the hover animation type. It begins when a visitor moves their cursor over the widget or its trigger. Imagine if we desire the product card to dynamically rotate upon hovering the cursor over it. In such a scenario, we'd employ the rotate parameter. You're already familiar with the delay and duration settings, so let's specify the degrees to determine a widget's rotation, and voila! When you hover over it, our widget rotates. Let's say you've perfected the animation settings for one element and want to apply the same effects to others. Instead of manually recreating each setting, you can simply use the Copy All Settings function or use Shift plus Command plus C V shortcuts. This handy feature allows you to copy all animation parameters from one widget and instantly apply them to another, saving you time and effort. Now let's venture into the final animation type, which is Click. This captivating animation requires visitors to simply click on the widget to activate. Among the effects, we're here to explore Scale. This effect gracefully adjusts the size of the widget, displaying a percentage of its initial size, either scaling up or down based on your input. Furthermore, for the click animation, we have a couple of special settings. The loop setting creates a continuous animation loop. This option combines two features. Circle animation creates a seamless circular motion, while reverse animation plays the animation in reverse upon completion, resulting in a smooth back and forth movement. The Reset option restarts the animation each time the user returns to the widget, ensuring it begins anew. Meanwhile, the Once Per User option ensures that the animation plays only once for each visitor, hiding the widgets for users who reload the page. Now let's remove the animation from the element by simply clicking on the minus icon. For many scenarios, we provide ready-made preset collections that will greatly assist you. They have descriptive names, ensuring you won't go astray. Let's see how it works. For instance, if you select the Fade slash Scale preset, you'll observe the element fading in from zero opacity to 100 and while increasing its size. Naturally, you can tailor presets to your needs by adjusting values. Also, don't forget you have the creative freedom to combine animation types and effects to craft your own unique projects. For example, you could enhance an existing animation by adding a rotation effect. Did you know? Effects can be combined seamlessly using steps. Suppose you want the widget to change its position after a user clicks on it and then scale up to the desired size. Here's how. Start by clicking the Click Animation with the Move effect. Set the parameters for your first step. Adding a new step is a breeze. Just click the plus icon under the widget, choose the Scale effect, and adjust its value. This simple process allows for a smooth transition between the two effects, enriching the overall user experience. To view the full list of steps, simply click on the Steps button. Here you can switch between steps, rearrange their order, add the circle loop effect we discussed earlier, and remove any unnecessary steps with ease. Animation can be activated not only by the widget itself, but also by another widget acting as a trigger. To set a trigger, select the desired animation type, 
Keep in mind, triggers are only available for hover and click animation types. Simply click Trigger and choose the widget you prefer. Watch as the text widget displays a header when hovered over. And here's a neat trick. You can add up to 20 triggers, giving you plenty of flexibility and creative options to enhance your animations. Now you know the basics of animation in ReadyMag. Find more tutorials and tips at readymag.com learn.